Okay, so quick sort. When you're moving I towards the right, you're going to ask if I is greater than the pivot. When you're moving J to towards the left, you're going to ask if J is less than the pivot. So, there we go. We're going to mark our pivot, put our I and our J where they belong. Now, is I greater than the pivot? No. Greater than? 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 No. So I ends up all the way over here. Now J. Is J less than the pivot? Yes it is. So J stays where it belongs. And this is where we make the first swap. So N, Y, M, O, G, E, Z. Now, since this is our first swap, this is the stationary point of Z now. It's not going to move from here. This is where we can make our tree. So to make our tree, we have to state where we start from the left, which is at index 0, all the way over here, and where we ended to the right, which is at 6, and where we made the swap, which was at element number 6. Keep in mind that the swap occurs where J is or where J was. Now, these are the elements we're going to deal with. And notice that Z is all the way to the right side, so that means in our tree, we're not going to have any nodes to the right. So I'm just going to put a line to indicate that we're going to start with the left. Now, we mark our pivot as N. This is our I, and this is our J. Now, is I greater than the pivot, yes it is, so I stays right here. Is J less than the pivot? Yes it is, so J stays right here. And D swap. So now we have the elements N, E, M, O, G, Y. Notice that I and J have not crossed parts yet, so we're going to still work with them now. The pivot is still N, so you ask, is I greater than N? No, it's not. Is I greater than N? No, it's not. Is I greater than N? Yes, it is. So I is going to come over here. I'm just going to rewrite it. Now J was at Y. Is j less than the pivot no it's not is j less than the pivot yes it is so this is where j belongs and these two are going to swap they've not crossed paths so i'm just going to rewrite where i and j were before now we have the elements n e m and g o y we're going to continue n is still a pivot so is I greater than N? No, it's not. Is I greater than N? Yes, it is. So we're just going to put I right over there and rewrite. Now, J. Is J less than N? No, it's not. Is J less than N? Yes, it is. So this is where J belongs. Now, since J and I have crossed paths, we're going to swap the jth element with the pivot so the g comes over here and we swap and we rewrite so now this is where we made the swap so in our recursive tree we started from the zeroth uh, index at the left to the right of the fifth one and we made a swap at 3 and notice that to the right and to the left we have unsorted arrays so I'm just gonna draw those lines over here in the tree to indicate that um, you could also do that to not get confused now since these have swapped already hmm. 
N is at its resting position. So we're not going to do anything with N. And now these are the elements that we're going to deal with. So mark our pivot as G, I, and J where they belong. And so is I greater than G? No, it's not. Is I greater than G? Yes, it is. So I goes over here. Is J less than the pivot? No, it's not. Is J less than the pivot? Yes, it is. So now this is where I and J belong. These two are going to swap. I'm sorry. They've crossed paths. Yeah. They've crossed paths, so that means the pivot and J are going to swap. So this is where we made our swap. Since this was to the left, or this is where we mark it, we started at the left of 0 and the index of 2 to the right. And we made a swap at index number 1. So now G is at its resting position. We're just going to deal with E. E is also the pivot. We're going to put I and J right over here. Notice that we didn't have to make a swap. So that's where you put as the left side of this node um, that you started at 0. And to the right you ended at 0. So that's that. Now since this was for the, the G that we have over here. This also has a right unsorted, but it's just one element, so it sums up to the same thing. Um, we started at index 2 to the left and index 2 to the right, and that's it. So now E, G, M, N have been sorted we're left with elements O and Y so we're just going to mark our pivot at O and this is where I and J belong then you're going to ask is I greater than yes it is so I stops right here is J less than no it's not so J is going to come over here so this is where J is this is where I is now, it's the last index, which means that the these um, I and J have crossed paths, so we're going to swap the pivot with J. So, this is where we made our swap. So, we're going to mark this, mark this instance in our um, tree. This was at index 3. No, sorry, <laughs> index 4. So left, we started at 4, and right, we ended at 5, we made a swap at 4. I guess it's kind of confusing that I'm, I'm writing, it's not parallel. But anyways, our last element, Y, this is where I and J belong, it's the only element. So we didn't make any swaps, they didn't cross paths, but that's, that's just one over here. Because it's our last element in the array. We began at the left 5 and ended at the right of 5. And yeah, that's, that's it.